Hey, everybody, they are celebrating Lee Elder at the Masters, and I thought this was a, a perfect moment as they, as the crowd tearfully recalls him as the first black player at the Masters to announce a special news that was sent to me by request. That's, uh, by the way, Gary Player going up to tee off right there on behalf to want start the Masters and on behalf of Lee Elder, uh, who he's uh, rushing back to. Uh, <laughs> uh, and they announced that uh, Lee Elder is being celebrated here as the first black player at the Masters. And there's Jack Nicklaus, five-time Masters champion. And there's Lee Elder. I thought this was a perfect time right here as Nicholas tees off and shoots well as he can only do. And as Elder takes his bows there to show you a special announcement that is here. And it's staying the course, how Lee Elder preserved in golf and life. Lee Elder, the first black player to qualify and play in the Masters, returns to Augusta National and partners with Stephen Curry to advance equity in the game. This goes on the read. Nearly 50 years after Lee Elder became the first black player to qualify for and play in the Masters Tournament, the Trailblazer will take his first turn as an honorary starter for this year's competition. And while much has changed since Elder, 86, first teed off at Augusta National in 1975, many of the challenges he faced playing the game remain the same for black golfers today. Quote, it is such an emotional thing to think about how I, a little black kid from a Dallas ghetto, was able to rise to the heights of playing in the most prestigious golf tournament in the world, Elder said. I'm proud to have been selected as an honorary starter this year because I feel that it's something that's going to help young black and people of color, black indigenous and people of color golfers. Seeing a black person on the course at the Masters is certainly going to enhance their thought of getting involved in the game. And that was Lee Elder, of course. According to the National Golf Foundation, black players make up just 3% of recreational golfers and 1.5% of competitive golfers. The low, these participation figures still top Elder's era when lack of access, president, presidential, pre, prejudicial regulations, excuse me, and threats to personal safety get black players out of the game. Elder's journey helped advance the game, ultimately inspiring golf enthusiast Stephen Curry to support the next generation of BIPOC golfers through Curry brand powered by Under Armour. Lee Elder is legendary. He has spent his entire life breaking down golf's color barrier, paving the way for future BIPOC golfers both on and off the course, said Curry. When I began building Curry Brand, I knew I wanted Lee to be a part of the family, and I'm humbled to be working with him, promoting equality in golf and changing the game for good. And here's Steph Curry talking about that right here. Mr. Lee Elder, I want to say thank you so much for your life's work, for your legacy, your uh, inspiration and blazing a path and overcoming so many obstacles to open up the game of golf uh, for those that deserve to play and for the underrepresented. Um, it's amazing that you're doing the ceremony on Tee Shot at the Masters. I want to wish you well with obviously Jack and Gary. This is an amazing moment. Remember the 1975 hat and that is the national playing in the masters for the first time and like you always say we're gonna stay the course so i'm gonna uh, this shot goes out to you please.
course, just like that, baby. Thanks, Lee. Stiff curve. You can read the rest of the press release in the link to Oakland News now below. As any 62 Media congratulates Lee Elder on his achievements in being a trailblazer, a role model, and a source of inspiration for all.